please subscribe. We are tragic to report that the 2020 Lincoln Aviator isn't the flying vehicle we've been guaranteed for most of a century. The Aviator is adhered to the Earth simply like you and me. Figuratively, however, this 4,900-pound calfskin and woodcut box has the wings to help lift Lincoln out of what a couple of brief years back resembled an unrecoverable plunge. There's an American mass to the aviator's extents and enough width in the lodge that at any rate a couple of purchasers will accept their driving the bigger navigator. The 400-horsepower twin-turbo V6 is anxious to run hard. Similarly as significant, the aviator has the vibes of an appropriate extravagance vehicle. That last factor denotes a major change over the aviator's front-drive-based antecedent, the simple and slouched MKT. The Aviator covers the MKT's antiquated bones and moves to another design that pivots the motor 90 degrees with the goal that torque presently streams to either the back wheels or each of the four. Sharing this center componentry with the new Explorer, the Aviator is still especially an overlaid Ford. Significantly, the obvious and unmistakable likenesses are not many and unimportant enough not to issue. The standard twin-turbo 3.0-liter V6 is a groundbreaking some portion of the aviator's intrigue. Making 400 strength and 415 pounds to feet of torque, the base motor outguns the competitions by and large by in excess of 50 ponies. The motor works quietly enough to be overlooked at cruising speeds. With a jab of the quickening agent, the V6 thunders to consideration and rockets the aviator not far off. Portage's 10-speed program transmission keeps on improving with each new application, including this one. In the Aviator, the transmission picks equips self-assuredly yet executes shifts with a delicate smoothness. Instead of a discretionary V8, Lincoln offers the blown V6 matched with an electric engine and a 13.6 kWh lithium particle battery. The $69,895 module half and half model, known as the Aviator Grand Touring, makes 494 pull and 630 pounds to feet however adds about 800 pounds to the scales. Shrewdly, Lincoln shrouds the strong battery pack underneath the body, leaving the underfloor freight space and extra tire well flawless. Instead of a discretionary V8, Lincoln offers the blown V6 combined with an electric engine and a 13.6 kWh lithium particle battery. The $69,895 module mixture model, known as the Aviator Grand Touring, makes 494 pull and 630 pounds to feet however adds almost 800 pounds to the scales. Shrewdly. Lincoln conceals the heavy battery pack underneath the body, leaving the underfloor freight space and extra tire well unblemished. The Aviator brought its mass nimbly through moving Napa vineyards on our drive with the pothole spotting, stature-modifying suspension. It remains pleasantly upstanding in corners and pursues the driver's expectations reliably, despite the fact that that exactness may include some significant pitfalls. In the few spots where the asphalt looked like sourdough outside layer, the body ricocheted and bobbled enough to make us wonder how the aviator will ride back home on Michigan streets. The aviator's hardware rundown is loaded down with driver help and network includes similarly as you'd find in some other present-day extravagance vehicle. What separates the Lincoln is that the tech is unassuming and simple to utilize. The piano key rigging selector, a Notrex touchscreen, physical atmosphere controls, and the capacity to utilize your telephone as a key make an extravagance involvement with no expectation to absorb information. Decadent Guilty Pleasures incorporate Lincoln's 30-way perfect position situates, a 28-speaker Revel Ultima sound framework, and the Megabox Black Label Lodge treatment. Except if you spring for that last one, a few of the aviator's inside materials closely resemble non-luxury admission. Behind the subsequent line, Lincoln favors freight room over traveler space. The daintily cushioned third column sits low to the floor and offers sparse legroom. Sitting back there is scarcely more agreeable than crouching on a sack of rice, 
and crashing between the C column and the second push commander's seat, standard on everything except the base model, is a test. In any case, there's a lot of room behind the third push for four children's rucksacks, sports sacks, to say the very least. For anybody in the first or second pushes, the aviator conveys a certifiable extravagance experience. It's calm when you need harmony and fast when you need speed. At the point when appropriately prepared, the aviator will need your posterior while unpretentiously convincing your neighbors that business is great. And keeping in mind that we wish it could fly, this Lincoln won't apologize for its size. The Aviator is an appropriate extravagance vehicle worked in the American style.